When I was younger, I lived in my parents' old house where I grew up. I had a happy childhood and spent most of my playtime in the garden. I spent many hours of the day there, playing with my friends and my toys. The whole garden was a playground for me. Except for one place. There was an old well in the yard. No one knew who built it because it was there when my parents bought the house. It was impossible to see or get in because it was always covered with various things. My father used to cover it up so that I would not accidentally fall into it. But one night, it got really weird. I couldn't sleep and I stood by the window of my bedroom. I was just standing there for no apparent reason at all. Then something happened that made my hair stand on end. I heard a child's voice, and it was definitely coming from the garden. My first thought was to wake up my parents, but I wasn't sure I wanted to do that, because I wasn't sure if it was just my imagination. So I went out into my yard. I walked around in the dark trying to hear any strange noises. Although I did not hear anything. The darkness created a really spooky atmosphere. I turned around and started walking towards the house. Then I heard the voice again. I looked back. It was definitely coming from the well. I moved closer, but the voice stopped. I wanted to rush into my parents' room and tell them what had happened, but I couldn't move. I found the strength to take a few steps back when I suddenly heard the voice again. This time, it was right behind me. I turned around. A small ghostly figure was standing there. I felt like I was going to faint. I screamed and closed my eyes. I was frozen. I kept screaming until I heard the voice of my parents who had rushed into the yard to see what was happening. The ghost was no longer there. I started to cry and told my parents what had happened. They put the blame on my video games, but suggested that I have a talk with a psychologist to this day, I still don't dare to go to the backyard, even during daylight. This is a true story, and I hid the true names and location of the people involved. If you would like to hear more stories, please let me know with a comment, and please consider liking the video and subscribing. A small click from you means the world to me. See you next time.